Evening guys, welcome to another devotional. Today we are going to be in Micah 6 verse 8, which says, No, O people, the Lord has told you what is good, and this is what he requires of you, to do what is right, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God. So we're gonna, kind of going to summarize this a little bit today, just for the devotional, where Micah is speaking, you know, the Lord is speaking through Micah to Israel, basically reminding them, hey, it's not exactly a mystery of how you guys should be acting. So I don't know why you guys are acting any differently. You guys know this. So I'm going to give you a little bit of a reminder here. That likewise for us, it can be that reminder for us to say, you know what? I know that just as Micah says here, he requires of you to do what is right, to love mercy and to walk humbly with your God. I know that I should do what is right. I know that I should love mercy and I know that I should be walking humbly with God but do I do it? And it's remembering that and saying, you know what? This is an important reminder. Thanks, Lord. <laughs> that doing what is right, simply put, treating others as better than ourselves, doing the right thing, acting selflessly rather than selfishly. That if someone's wronged, actually us going and helping to correct that wrong and being led by God on how to correct that wrong. That if we've done something that's hurt someone, that we actually go and we try and correct that. That if there's a situation that requires a decision on our part, us not just simply making the decision ourselves, but us going to God and asking Him for wisdom on how to do what is right. And as we ask Him for that wisdom, He will reveal it to us, as it says in James. However, we need to be listening. If we are going to ask Him of something, then we need to say, you know what? I'm going to read your word. If I've asked you for wisdom, I'm going to go ahead and read your word and see if you speak to me through your word. And I'm going to spend time in prayer. That we don't just simply say, Lord, help me, and then wander off, but say, Lord, help me, and I'm actually actively going to wait on you, that I'm going to listen out for what you have to say, and I'm going to be willing to be obedient to what you have to say. Um, to love mercy. Really, it isn't just simply saying, be merciful, but to love being merciful, but to delight in mercy, not just simply out of a pride of how good we are, you know, how merciful we are, but actually out of a love for the person that we're being merciful towards, to say, you know what, despite my flesh of how it may hurt my flesh, I delight in being merciful to this person because I love them and I know that God loves this person to walk humbly with God. Not living in a manner that suggests that we're the author of our lives, but actually living in a manner that recognizes that God is truly the author of our lives. Remembering that God is over all and in all, and remembering his goodness in all of that. Remembering his love for us in all of that. And as we remember this, and as we walk in remembering that, we find that we're actually walking humbly before God, as we recognize, you know what, I'm not in control of my life. I'm not the author of my life. I don't know best. As we walk out this life, walking humbly before God, continually turning to him, thanking him for all he has done, and asking him for what we need. So that is an encouragement to each and every one of us tonight, to not forget these things as if God hasn't told us, but to actually remember these things and to take this as a remembrance to say, yes, right here, I want to try and put these things into practice in my life and try and walk out my life for God in the way that is pleasing to him and the way that he has asked of me. So God bless you guys and um, good night.